Hey, Zippy. Uh, why are we in the park today? Hmm, because we're here to teach the children all about lines of symmetry. Uh, lines of symmetry? What's that? Well, it means that if we split a shape or object in half, it is the same or equal on both sides. For example, look over there, Cookie. Do you, do you see the butterfly? Yes! Well, look closely. If we put a mirror down the middle, we can see that not only is the shape the same on both sides, but look, so are the patterns. Wow! So, we can find lines of symmetry in both nature and in maths. Exactly. If you step outside your door, Cookie, you will see loads of lines of symmetry. And symmetry is very important in maths. So, a quick recap. The properties of a 2D shape include the sides the, and corners. They also have a line of symmetry. Here's a square shape and there are a few ways to find a line of symmetry. For example, you can cut the shape like this. Another way to find a line of symmetry is to use a mirror. Place the mirror where you think there might be a line of symmetry. Look in the mirror. <gasps> the shape in the mirror should be the same as the shape on the other side. If they are not equal, then it is not a line of symmetry. So, the most important thing to remember when looking for a line of symmetry is that both sides are equal. Correct, Cookie. Okay, so if we fold this rectangle and draw this line of symmetry like this, it wouldn't be a line of symmetry because both sides do not overlap and are not equal. Very good, Cookie, and you can try this at home too, children. Remember, you must be careful not to think that a diagonal line is the same as a line of symmetry. Always check. <laughs>